Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about uh, how to tune the backboard that we built last time in the last video of this uh, octave mandolin build. Uh, if you're wondering why it took so long for me to post this video, I'll leave a link down in the description that's uh, going to redirect you to my shop update, shop move video. You'll probably get all the answers uh, to your questions as to why it took so long. Uh, so diving in right in the the gist of the the video. So we have braces here uh, that we're gonna have to uh, adjust to proper stiffness and then uh, just as a reference it's not gonna be the same way as tuning as the soundboard. The soundboard have tone bars which is different than brace. A tone bar is gonna have different tones for the treble and the bass and the purpose of the brace on the backboard is because we've thicknessed the backboard to 332 so that's between 1 16th and 1 8 so it's ex extremely thin and without the braces on it it would probably it would most likely collapse so what we want to do is uh, add stiffness and we're gonna do so by <clears throat> adjusting first by ear so we want to have stiffer in the middle going to uh, less stiff and I, by hitting on it we'll be able to hear the difference and I'm going to do that for all of them and then once I've got that established I, I can tap as a as the whole soundboard as one piece and then we're going to bring that to a proper pitch. So first of all we're going to start by reducing the height of the, the, of the brace and then once I'm, the, I'm at the height that I want I'll, I'll start shaping them and start uh, hitting on them to have the proper uh, stiffness. So I'm done with the tap tuning of the backboard. Uh, once I was done shaping the height of my brace and crowning them, uh, what I did is I started hitting the plate 
uh, with my little mallet and reading on my computer the note I had and from there I was able to adjust uh, obviously going to a lower note because removing material do just that. Uh, the way I did that I took my plane and flattened the top and then uh, flattened the top of each one very slowly and then recrowning as I, I go until I got the reading we just saw. So that's basically how we tune the backboard. Uh, why, why do we go from uh, a brighter sound in the middle and we want it to kind of go lower towards the end? Uh, the reason for that is because um, once we attach the backboard to the rim, obviously, structurally speaking, the outer edge is going to become stiffer. So if we keep it the same stiffness around, now we're going to have an, an outer edge that, ex that is extremely stiff and we, we don't want that. We want the, the whole body to, to allow movement and the whole plate basically to have uh, movement. So, uh, so that's it for this one. Uh, so at this point, uh, I just have to do the final sanding. And, uh, and that's why I didn't mind to have like the, the plus a three uh, cents on because like by, by sanding I might lose another cent or I might be at plus two or plus one. Um, so the reason why we do uh, the tuning of the backboard is basically to keep references. So let's say like I really enjoy the sound of this instrument and I don't want anything to be changed with the reference and the, the notes that I took in my book. I can build another instrument and tune the tone bars uh, of the soundboard at the same pitch and tune the backboard at the exact same pitch and then basically the instrument should technically be exactly, uh, the, the sound should be extremely close to the, the one that we just built. Now if we want to change something, like well, let's say we would like to have the instrument to be a bit brighter, um, I would be able to do that as well by uh, allowing some components to be stiffer and then vice, ver vice versa the other way. So I, I want to thank you guys again for stopping by. Uh, the next video will be uh, gluing the backboard onto the uh, rim of a uh, rim and soundboard that we already built and then uh, uh, if, if you don't want to miss that I invite you to subscribe, share and like this video if you think it's worth it and once again I'll see you next time.